Hello everybody. Hope I was doing good. In today's session 4, which is a continuation of session 3 in which we have discussed the safety precautions while handling material. So in today's session, we will discuss what are the safety precautions that has to be taken while handling compressed gas cylinders. And as shown in the sketch, the compressed gas cylinders are available in different shapes and sizes and the type of gases that are filled inside will also vary. So we, we will in today's session we will discuss how it, the compressed gas cylinders has to be handled safely in order to avoid any misfortune falling on the workers. So how do you define a gas? Gas is defined as a state of matter in which the material has a very low density and viscosity and it can expand and contract in response to changes in temperature as well as pressure. It can easily diffuse into other gases. Here when we say diffuse it means it can mix or with other is very easily with other gases and it can distribute itself inside a container. That means it can take the it can fill each nook and corner of the container. It can fill itself inside a container. And it also says that if the temperature is dropped and pressure is increased, the gas can be changed to a liquid or semi solid state. So this was a brief description about a gas. But how do you define a compressed gas? It says that compressed gas is a material or it can be mixture and it will be contained or it will be inside a container at an absolute pressure exceeding 40 psi at 70 degree Fahrenheit or regardless of pressure at 70 degree Fahrenheit having an absolute pressure exceeding 104 psi at 130 degree Fahrenheit or any liquid material having a vapor pressure exceeding 40 psi absolute at 400 at 100 degree Fahrenheit as determined by ASTM test D323. So this is how a compressed gas has been defined according to ASTM standards. And here we, when we say ASTM it means that American standard for testing materials. It's a standard uh, which is followed by most of us. So this is how they define compressed gas. Now how a gas will be stored? A gas will be stored in a gas containers and as mentioned earlier they are available in different shapes and sizes. It is available in lecture bottles as can be seen in the sketch a very small bottle or it can be available in cylinders maybe a small cylinder or a large cylinder. Uh, large cylinder it can be up to a height of about 3 meters or it can also the gas can also be contained in tank trucks. That means it can be carried in trucks whether it is stationary or a movable trucks. So this is how the gas will be stored. Now what happens if the gas, if gas in a sense, if the compressed gas gets exposed, exposed means if it explodes, what are the effects of it? When an explodes, because as the gas will be stored at a certain pressure, so when it gets exploded, it can destroy vehicles. Or sometimes it, it will be, it will be if they are stored at very high pressure, the cylinders may just go through the barriers or walls, as can be seen in the sketches shown. And of course, if it is flammable, it may explode and cause destruction in around it or chemical burns. And so, whenever we are handling compressed gas, we have to use PPE, that is, personal protective equipment should be worn at all time. And these personal protective equipments include gloves, eye protection, respirator, foot and body protection. So all the, these should be worn when handling whoever is working with compressed gases. So next topic, we will study how to handle and how to store compressed gas safely. First step of precaution they have mentioned. We have to determine the safe handling and storage needs 
based on the industry and the gases with which we work. That means this handling and storage varies from industry to industries based on the type of gas that they are used, they are using for their operation. Based on that, there are certain storage and safe uh, handling needs has to be determined. Next, create or follow checklist to best ensure a continuous safety program. That means it says that there are certain standards prescribed by OSHO uh, which says that these are the steps that has to be carried or there's, there's a checklist whenever we handle or store a compressed gas and if this should be followed sorry and if the distance covered is more it's always advisable to use a forklift so which can just carry the cylinders from one place safely from from one place to another thus maximizing safety for the operator and also for other staff and uh, one more safety precaution it says that always provide there should be whenever a uh, gas cylinders are stored there should be proper ventilation for the air to circulate there should always be a fire extinguisher available again the type of fire extinguisher depends on the type of gas that are being stored in the cylinders and always wear PPE that is personal protective equipments that may include gloves uh, or goggles or spectacles or body suits and so on next it says we should plan whenever whether the sender is being stored or it is being moved we should always plan how we are going to do it and how it has to be done who will be doing it what are the equipments that are that are to be used all this has to be pre-planned then only we should start the operation and always decide on the side of personal safety so as shown in the sketches below here you can see uh, uh, they are using some protective equipments and then should and also safety shoes uh, they are wearing when handling cylinders and here on the on the right side the guy wearing with a dark blue suit you can see that he is using a gloves when handling the cylinders so all these are the that means we should always be on the safer side whenever we are uh, doing any operations uh, while that, uh, related to compressed gas cylinders whether it can be shoes or gloves it should always be worn at all the times and also, uh, also earlier discussed they should uh, always maintain proper ventilation whenever uh, the compressed gas cylinders are stored or we are, uh, someone is working with it this, there should be proper circulation of air in and out that can be done by using proper ventilation and it should not subject to temperature extremes uh, see the cylinder the, the, it means that the temperature should not vary to from minimum to maximum or extreme conditions and there are chances that the cylinder may explode next it says that segregate means separate gas types to eliminate fire or chemical reaction hazards so sometimes some of the gases that are stored in cylinders will not will be very uh, will react very quickly to uh, will, uh, will under, can go undergo very quickly chemical reaction or it may catch fire immediately but there are some uh, some gases which won't catch fire easily or which won't react very quickly with the chemicals so what this is that we should not mix all this type of compressed gas in this each type should be kept separately to eliminate fire or chemical reactions next it says use good housekeeping practices always you know, we should make sure that there should not be any uh, waste fuel uh, waste uh, cloths laying around the cylinders this waste cloths may contain oil or it may contain some fuel mixed with it so always good housekeeping is always necessary uh, so where uh, there should not be any dirt or grease or oil lying around which may cause slipping of this of the workers or maybe when when the synthesis compressed gas cylinders are moved chances are there slippage may occur so all this can be avoided by good housekeeping practices and it says next it says that post signages so signages means they are showing the sketch signages may include no smoking uh, cylinder storage area so there are chances that a 
person who is not familiar with the layout of the plant uh, and if this compressed gas cylinder storage is uh, uh, is uh, he will be having no idea where it is and there are chances that he may smoke and uh, unaware of the compressed or uh, compressed gas cylinders so in such cases it's always better to have signages wherever possible indicating that compressed gas cylinders have been stored in this particular spot next uh, it's, uh, it next it says compressed gases can be hazardous because each cylinder contains large amounts of energy and may also have high flammability and toxicity potential that means uh, there ha we have to make sure that these compressed gas cylinders won't explode uh, ensure that contents of all compressed gas cylinders are clearly stenciled or stamped on the cylinder or durable labels uh, whenever it, uh, what uh, we know that different types of gases can be compressed in cylinders so always better to indicate the type of gas that has been stored in the particular cylinder and this can be done by writing it clearly by stenciling or stamping on the cylinder or by using some labels indicating the what, what type of gas has been stored what at what pressure and so on do not identify a gas and only by the manufacturer color course so there are different codes available with different colors for the gas cylinders so these colors indicate the type of gas that has been stored in these cylinders but is we should not always by just looking at the cylinder okay say okay uh, this contains oxygen okay this contains so gas yeah, it should not be there so it's always better to have a label indicating what type of gas is there other than the color code it's always safer never use cylinders with missing or unreadable labels if a cylinder is not having a label or they are missing never try to open the wall uh, we, we won't be knowing what type of gas is inside check all cylinders for damage before use be familiar with properties and hazards of the gas inside the cylinder before it's very important so before make uh, using any uh, compressed gas cylinders we should be uh, uh, fully aware what type of gas is that has been stored inside the cylinder what are the properties of that gas and if there is a leakage what are the hazards of the gas so all these things has to be known before operating any compressed gas cylinders uh, again one more uh, same point where appropriate pp before handling and also during usage so next topic we will study how to handle and how to store compressed gas safely first step of precaution they have mentioned we have to determine the safe handling and storage needs based on the industry and the gases with which we work that means this handling and storage varies from industry to industries based on the type of gas that they are used they are using for their operation based on that there are certain storage and safe uh, handling needs has to be determined next create or follow checklist to best ensure a continuous safety program that means it says that there are certain standards prescribed by osho uh, which says that these are the steps that has to be carried or there's, there's a checklist whenever we handle or store a compressed gas and if this should be followed
Next, store empty cylinder separately from full ones. Do not subject any part of a cylinder to temperatures higher than 125 degree Fahrenheit or lower than 50 degree Fahrenheit. Uh, so that's what they say. It should not be extreme condition. The uh, cylinder should not be subjected to fluctuations temperature. It should not be more than 125 degree Fahrenheit or it should not go below 50 degree Fahrenheit. Next point. Carefully check all cylinder to equipment connection before use and periodically use to make sure that they are tight, clean and good condition and not leaking. Next point. Carefully open all walls slowly. Pointed away from you and others using proper tools. So whenever uh, the, ga uh, the gas walls will be open, make sure that they are not open uh, immediately. It should not open at once. It should be open slowly. And also it should be pointed away from uh, ourselves and also from those nearby. Close all valves when cylinders are not being in used. Never tamper with safety devices in cylinders, valves or equipment. It's very important. There will be certain safety devices or fail proof devices in cylinders. And it's always we should not tamper without knowing how it works. Do not allow flames to contact cylinders and do not strike an electric arc on cylinders. Of course. Next, periodic inspection should be done every now and then to check for rust or chemical reactions, fire or heat impact, leaking, bulging, distortion and so on. So as you can be seen in the sketch, there are certain uh, figures which are showing certain dents or sometimes they are bulged out or corrosion so cylinders like this should not, should not be used and whenever we find cylinders having dents or gorgeous or impact points they should be first checked whether it is can be used safely or not then then only we can go ahead and use that so this 